In this video, I'm going to show you how to find scholarly journal articles on the topic you're researching in art history. The example I'm using is the Byzantine icon and the significance of the period of iconoclasm. And so far, I've done some background information so I know what icons are and what the iconoclasm is. I've looked for some books to give me some more information about life during the Byzantine era and their religion. And now I really want to focus in on what some other people think about icons and the iconoclasm within the field of art history. And so I need to look in a database that specializes in art history research. That's what we're going to do right now. So if you look at your screen, I'm looking at the research guide for your class and I've clicked on the find articles tab. If I scroll down, you're going to see a list of databases that we think are useful for students studying art history. And the one we recommend you start with is Art and Architecture Source because that is a database that contains all art history research. And if you think about databases like shopping, um, this is kind of like going to the mall and seeing a set of stores, right? So you've got the Apple Store and you've got Macy's, and there'll be totally different stuff in each store, right? So if I'm looking for a bathing suit, I'm not going to go to the Apple Store, I'm going to go to Macy's. But if I'm looking for a bathing suit, I could find it at Macy's or Nordstrom, but they'll have different suits. So it's kind of like you have to pick the right database for what you're trying to find out. But let's start here, Art and Architecture Source. So to get started, I can just do a really simple search. Byzantium and icon, because right now I want to kind of narrow in on about icons, right? I'm inside the database. I've got a fair number of results, but I need to do some limiting so that I make sure that I am limiting to results that are full text so I can read the whole article and also that they're peer reviewed. Peer reviewed is another way of saying scholarly. Um, if you were an art history researcher and you wrote an article, you would send it into a journal to be published and your peers who are other art history researchers would read it. And if it met the standards of research in your field, it would be okay to be published. And if they had questions, they'd ask you questions and you'd have to fix it before they would publish it. That's what peer review is. So now I have fewer results and I kind of going to scroll down to see if there are any that are going to help me learn more about, you know, art and icons and iconography. Ah, so this one looks interesting to me. Image and iconoclasm in Byzantium. This one also looks good. Byzantium in the iconoclast era, era, right? A history. So if I click here, I'll open up the full text. Right, and I'm seeing the whole article right here. If I like this article and it's useful, you know, I can print it or download it. I can also send it to my Google Drive, email it to myself, and most exciting, I can learn how to cite the source in Chicago by just copying and pasting it, right? If I go back to my results list, I can see that this this um, article looks so interesting is actually a, a book review. And so now that I know the title of this book, I could go back in the library catalog or the Internet Archive or even another library's catalog and see if I could get it. Right. Um, and here's some other articles about um, icons and art during the Middle Ages. And if I like it the same thing, you know, I can email it or print it. If you don't find enough of what you want in Art and Architecture Source, there are some other databases you can use. You can use JSTOR, you can use Project Muse, you can use Academic Search Complete, and it's our hope that between all of these you'll be able to find those five sources to help you write a really interesting paper. But please remember, if you get stuck, you can contact me directly or just click this chat widget on the right and start chatting with the librarian on call. So I hope that this, these videos have helped you um, with your research in your art history class. And the next time you'll see me, if you click on citing sources, I'll show you how you can cite all of these sources according to the Chicago style that you're required to use in this class. Good luck.